it's muddy everywhere. Well, they're pulling ivy out of the dirt um, and they're, they're reaching down and getting the roots under the dirt and pulling it out. We're putting it in bags and we're taking it out of the wetland space uh, to open up um, uh, opportunities for other plants to grow. wetland uh, at Rising Star Elementary. Pulling ivy in the 9.2 acre wetland space. Uh, this is a beautiful space that the students have been taking care of, uh, making sure that our native species, our thimbleberry and ferns, uh, are all growing and healthy and that they can come out here and care for this space, uh, go on adventures, find wildlife, uh, and really learn as they're exploring. Oh, I see right there. We want to make sure at EarthGen that uh, the students feel that they have all that they need to take action for a healthier environment. Uh, and so we are out here making sure that they uh, have the tools and the support uh, and everything that they really do need to make sure that this space is healthy for them and for others. Bad idea. We can also provide is volunteers to do some of the big heavy lifting that maybe students can't do during the day or during nature club. And what they did is they brought in uh, volunteers from PEMCO Insurance Company and the Sounders organization. It's important to have all of this help because Ivy is overtaking the green spaces in Seattle. We are the stewards of this 9.2 acre parcel and they're helping us to take away the Ivy tree. Like a huge thing of it just came off. It's very satisfying make the space viable for other plants. And then the other thing is students are learning about all the careers that these adults do. They're also seeing adults do community service, which is a value that we also try to instill in them. The adults are also learning from the students because they take care of the space and can teach them about the plants and the animals that are here. Well, look what you got. I think in this work we recognize that it's about the journey, not the destination. So success today is to making some progress, but to know that we are able to come back uh, and keep doing this work is what's really important and for me is the greatest measure of success. Building the relationships with students, with the school, and with the community to make sure that this work can continue over time uh, and to continue to care for this space.